going to show you 10 quick messages app tips for iOS 7. Number one is timestamps. In a conversation view, just swipe over like this, swipe and hold to view timestamps for all the messages. Swipe through photos. You can actually view all the photos contained within a conversation by opening one photo and then just swiping like this. All the photos easily viewable in the conversation. View photos list. If there are a lot of photos within a conversation, you can tap the button in the bottom right hand corner to view a list and go directly to each photo that you want to. It's pretty slick. Forward messages. You can forward individual messages by tapping and holding, select more, check the box, hit the button in the bottom right hand corner and forward that message. Super simple, super easy. Delete individual messages. Just like forwarding messages, tap and hold, select more, Select the message you want to delete and then tap the button in the bottom left hand corner this time. You can select multiple messages, obviously. Delete two messages, just like that. Copy messages. Just tap and hold, select copy, and then paste wherever you want to paste. And it doesn't just have to be in the messages app. It can be in any app. Read receipts. If you want to disable or enable read receipts, you can just go into the settings for messages and hit the toggle just like that. Speaking of settings, you can enable a subject field right in the settings for messages. And now you can type a subject along with your message. This is my subject. This is my message. Pretty simple. Block messages. If you want to block a particular person from messaging you or calling you, you can go into the contact, select block, and then block contact. Again, this blocks everything, including phone calls. Delete entire conversation. If you tap and hold, select more on a particular chat bubble and tap delete all in the upper left-hand corner, you can do that. Delete the entire conversation, yet still keep the shell of the message. View earlier messages. If you want to view earlier messages, just tap load earlier messages at the top to see all your previously uh, saved messages in the database on the messages app. So folks, that is 10 quick tips for the Messages app. Hope this is able to help you out a little bit. Let me know what you think in the comments. This is Jeff with iDownloadBlog.